Welcome back guys, it's been about a week since the last video and that's right, I've been grinding really hard and I decided to just put everything all in one video. I don't want to do too many videos for this league, but I want to make sure that it's packed to the brim. And this episode is insane because I show you all of the prep towards finally reaching challenge mode chambers so that we can get that metamorphic dust that we failed to do two years ago. 1 in 400 chance, assuming the drop rate doesn't get changed for that. But yeah, lots of progress leading up challenge rates and also progress in the actual challenge mode rate as well. Insane amount of progress, insane amount of drops. Like I, I, I can't even like list them all. There's just too many things. But yeah, I'll try to make it a nice and fluid video for you guys to enjoy. And uh, anyways, if you do enjoy this video, definitely give it a like, man. I spent a lot of time grinding and working on this one. So to start off, I am doing gobbers right now to get some of the tier 4 relics. I believe the Zami site and the Bandos might will be really, really good for challenge for raids. And also, I need shards to make the Bandos gods work because I got the hilt last episode. That would be my main specking weapon, really important. Oh, I got a fragment. Sweet. What is this one? What's this one going to be, boys? Ooh, some wreck insight, sweet. Three out of four of the God Wars relics. Oh, Zami Spear, oh my god. Not ready. So the Zami Spear is actually really good because I can use it as my versatile stab and crush weapon for challenge mode raids. I need all those styles for different bosses there. And also, I probably want to dupe though a second Zami Spear so I can make a Dragon Hunter Lance. That's going to be my best in slot for Ohm outside of the site so be worth getting another one. Oh my god back to back Zami spear <laughs> god's sword shard three let's go yes i need god's sword shard two i believe and and i get the bandos god sword oh my god shell and mining sweet oh yes god's sword shard two let's go god sword blade done dude i'm glad i uh try my luck at another god god wars boss though Alright, well, let's see if we can get a 30% chance to get two blades. Oh, we did! Oh my god. Oh, we have three blades, actually. Holy shit. That works. That works even better. Oh, four blades! That's some bullshit RNG. Okay, there we go. We got four blades. Nice. Alright, I'll take it, dude. So Jagex didn't really think this through with some of these relics that turns everything at once. So you get one big XP drop. Generally speaking, the higher the XP drop, the higher the chance, but there's a cap. It seems like anything past 5 to 10,000 experience doesn't get any better chance. Mixologist is one of the best relics ever, especially if you're bossing because you can save 100% of your secondaries when making potions. So imagine making brew, super combats, and stuff like that. You only need really 14 secondaries, and you'll never run out, which is really amazing because I probably need some brews and probably some super combats. This challenge mode grind is going to be a long one, and I'm going to need a lot of those potions. I got it! Yes! Talking about mixologists, here it is. Finally, dude. I think at this point, after God Wars, I have the herb level as well. I think I can actually try and do some experimental normal chambers and see how I feel about it. And yeah, we should be quickly moving on to challenge mode raids. With all these relics, I suspect it will be much, much easier. So this is what we got for gear. And as for the relics, we're just looking at twin strikes, double tap, so the two X attacks for a range of melee, absolute unit, and knife's edge. Damn, that was, dude, that was crazy, dude. I just don't even use that much food, man. Holy crap. I don't even think I need to make potions for normal raids, honestly. So, normal raids was an absolute joke. Discounting my experience, of course, here. Just the relics themselves are so busted. For example, Absolute Unit just saves you on so much food. So if you're trying to learn some raids, man, leagues might be a great way to do it because it's much, much easier. Wow, that was so fast. Jeez. That was so fast. 18 minutes. Damn, that ohm took under 8 minutes. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I will say that Vanguards though is a lot trickier because you do hit insanely high this league that one little 2x hit proc can easily reset the entire run. So, But Challenge Mode Rage should be a bit more flexible because they have more HP. The main is a pivotal part of most men's looks and confidence. However, hair loss is a very common phenomenon that happens to most adults male by the age of 35. As a male in my 20s, it is apparent that my hair has thinned a lot over the years too. 
But what if it is possible to keep our hair? Luckily, hair loss prevention exists, and Keeps is the premium hair prevention service. The Keeps subscription service includes connecting you with a certified doctor who will tailor and send the right prescription every three months to your doorstep. You also have 24-7 access to your Keeps doctor to address any questions and concerns. Check out some of these testimonials from Keeps customers. The earlier you start, the more hair you can keep. The Rice Fields, in collaboration with Keeps, is offering a 50% discount on your first order. Start saving your luscious hair now by clicking on my link, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash rice cup in the description. Thanks for listening. Back to the progress. A cult necklace is such a free upgrade, so I had to go and get it. 10% extra damage is so good for challenge mode rates. Other challenge mode rates preparation is getting the pieces of gear needed for the Zamrakian Sight Relic. So this relic is disgusting because it gives you 250% magic accuracy. And what that means is things that you have a hard time hitting, you actually won't because you're just that accurate. With magic like armadillo for example usually really tanky even range options have trouble hitting it but with this relic you can actually try an armadillo and this will apply to challenge for race as well there's a bunch of creatures there that are very tanky normally where even range will have some issues where with this relic that is not going to be a problem and that's super useful because that means those rooms can be done faster with this relic it's that big i'll be doing hydra in between challenge for runs Starting now, because the lance is just too good. Stuff like the Hasta and the Whip, if I don't land a BGS spec on Ulm, I'm just going to miss a lot and the kills are going to be way slower. So getting this lance will be really nice for that. And also you get things like the Ferocious Gloves, which is best in slot melee gloves. So it's good as well. It's good. Oh, Hydra Leather. Oh my god. Yay. Sweet, sweet. We got an upgrade already of uh, 41 kills. Let's see if we can get a lance after finishing this task. We got 100 left. For those of you guys that don't know what Challenge Mode Raids is, let's quickly explain it. So Challenge Mode Raids is a harder version of Normal Raids because of a few reasons. Number one, you have to do every single room that is possible, all skilling rooms, all boss rooms. Number two, the bosses usually have either more HP, more defense, or just overall hits harder. And you can get bonus rewards from challenge mode raids outside like T-Bows and like normal purples. You can get the metamorphic dust, which is what I'm looking for, and the ancestral recolor kits. And you have to make the time. So in a solo, you have to make it in 50 minutes. So I will be starting challenge mode raids right now because this gear is definitely good enough to meet the time requirement to get the dust. No problem. But it's far from perfect and I definitely can't do challenge mode raids all day. So... In between the grinding of the dust, I will be going for better upgrades. I still need to get Sarmini Sight to level 3. Still need to get a Hydra, Claw for the Lance, and many other things that could make the challenge for raids a lot faster. Holy shit. There you go. Oh, <laughs> okay. There we go. That's how we do it. Just hope that BGS lands like crazy. So starting off the challenge for raids, the biggest hurdle right now is definitely vanguards because when I make it to vanguards, I pretty much have no food and that slows down the fight a ton. Not only is that an issue, there's also of course the resetting issue I mentioned earlier, very easy to reset. So I do need a better way to do this vanguards and I think magic is going to be the key. Once I get Zami sight, I should be able to mage the melee guy and the major guy, no problem. And the mage attacks can't hit too high, so it shouldn't reset. And then once the melee and the major gets a bit lower, I can start hitting the ranger a bit. Because my melee attacks are very strong. So that's why I need to make sure I hit the ranger last. Because that way it doesn't reset. But that means I need bruise. So we got to work on that mixologist. And that means I need Sammy Sight to level 3. So once we get those, it will be a lot better. The redemption kind of ruined me though. So challenge mode raids in this league is super weird because a lot of the attack styles you use for certain bosses, you actually don't use them because there's better options now due to the fact that the melee relics are just so much stronger than the mage and the range relics. What I mean by that is the passive combos that the melee relics has is just much better than range and mage. For some reason, the melee relics has so much of the absolute units the knife's edge and the 2x attacks combined together and the majors and the range relics don't have that many 
they often only have like 2x hit and then nothing else good, like absolute unit. So yeah, that means melee is disgusting in terms of a tribrid relic setup. Melee will always have the best combos. And because of that, certain rooms like Fossa and Mudadal, I realize meleeing it with a Zamri Hasta even is so much better than even using the Bow of Ferdinand. It's actually stupid, but it's nice though, I guess, because hey, it's different and yeah, very unexpected. Nice. That was really chill. Other than that, challenge for rates is actually quite chill because of absolute unit just being so good. I can camp lower HP without dying since all the damage is halved. And yeah, you don't even have to no prep. Also, Blood Fairy though helped a ton as well for keeping my uh, HP uptake. So it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad overall. Holy crap. First CM, dude. That was so fast. That was insane. And you can go like so much faster too. You can go uber fast too. I don't even have the Zami might with me, so. Holy crap. How many? Oh my god, look at all those tasks. All in one. <laughs> what the hell? I have earned 1550 league points. Yo, are you cr Dude, this is stupid. One challenge mode gave me 1550 points. Oh shit, 2,000 total. Oh my god. I don't even know if I should just keep track of too many points, but uh, I'll just show like the really noticeable ones, like the 2k total. Quick reminder, you guys can level up your relics doing anything as long as you gain XP. The best things are 4 tick cycle ones, like mining pair essence with adamant pickaxe. So that way you level up the quickest. Yay, level 3. Oh, finally. 250% magic RC. There it is, Mixologist level 3, sweet. Now I can make all the all the potions, all the brews that I want. Without having to actually get any secondaries. Just 14 is gonna be all I need, 100% chance to save secondaries. And unfortunately, still no lance. We'll try again another time. I shouldn't waste any of this. Yes, come on, show me the magic. Look at that! All right, now we have a bunch of brewers. So remember how I said that melee rugs are definitely more busted in a triber setup where you have to bring all three styles? That's why I brought the art light, baby, because it's so good on ice demon. Damn, art light's so good. Holy shit. <laughs> all right, I can actually go into vanguards now with two brewers, which is really nice. Now I can just go like focus more on DPS and not resetting rather than trying my best to not die. So this should save a lot of time, Vanguard. So let's see. And also we have the Zami Relic now. So I should be hitting stupidly accurate on these guys. Oh yeah, I am. Oh my god. What the hell? Look at that. I'm just hitting the melee guy. Everything. Everybody's getting hit. <laughs> so the Zamrakin site, it's disgustingly good. I'm using it at Mage Vanguards and Melee Vanguards because it's so reliable. And also for Spila Portals too, really good on them. And even skeletons. So things where I normally range a lot of times, I don't even bother ranging. It's either I'm uh, maging them or I'm mailing them now. It's crazy different from the normal game. Holy shit, Fispila is just absolute jokes. Absolute jokes, man. Look at how accurate I am. Holy shit. That's so accurate. And this is what I'm talking about. Instead of ranging the Mudadal, I just melee the Mudadal. All of them. Even the Mama Dao. Because Absolute Unit just tanks so much damage. And they're actually negative stab. Weakness. So yeah, it's so good on them. Alright, I don't even think you need range. Oh, I got a purple. Let's go. Even though this raid was so scuffed. Because I'm learning, you know, new gear every time. We need to get up to under sub 30 for sure. Let's go. There we go. Oh, deck scroll. Hell yes. That's huge. Freaking huge, man. Let's go. That's going to help a ton. I need to charge this, but that's not a big deal. Holy shit. That is just so overpowered. So, Fasa's strategy is different as well. I main hand the Hosta. I crush the boss mainly. And I only shoot one range hit at the beginning when I get off the crystal with the crystal armor. 
And that's it. It's so much better than actually shooting the F-bow the whole time. There we go. That's the fossil I'm looking for, dude. Dang, sub 30. Oh, and a purple. Oh my god. Let's go. I chanced the bunch, though. Yes, I got it. Let's go. Completed the prayer book. That's that's really good. That's really good. That's going to be really nice to have vanguards and stuff. Hey, that's awesome, though. All right, we can definitely go faster. We just need... I mean, if we can get lands... Oh, jeez. Ulm would be so fast. Uh, I have like 50 heart clues, so... I think I'm gonna give it a shot. It would be good if I can replace this Bandos book with like... Either a Bandos Coif, Bandos Boots... Dehigh Boots... Or Bandos Rune Helm... Or a War Blessing. So, heart clues can give me one of the four. Really good swaps. And then I can get a Defender... With the setup, so... Yeah, uh, let's go. Let's go and give it a shot. You're missing out. Oh, Bandos Coif! Oh my god, I did it. Wow, that was fast. Yay! Seven hard clues, and I can wield my defender. <laughs> oh, damn! That was nice. Yep. How fast was that? Two minute vanguards! Oh my god, let's go! Let's go, dude! That was awesome. That was fast. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Oh, what? I got an Onyx? That might compel me to actually go kill some Demonics or something. So I can get a Zenite and use it. Oh, that was sick. Nice, I went past the Tindril. Oh my god, bullshit, dude. No, I already have that. Miracle. Oh, no way. No way, dude. Alright, here we go. Oh, Ancestral Legs! Ooh, damn, guys. I can't really use it unless I get a Zammy piece. Unless I get a Zammy piece, though. Oh, that's a task, apparently. Yay! Okay, there we go. Oh, Helmet Pluming Stand. There we go. Hey, nice Herotic Helm and Zamrak. Okay, this should count towards my... My four Zami set. Just gotta ditch the, the Zami bottoms then. Hey, wow. I actually get plus 75. Oh, Jesus, man. 250% of this. Of 26 accuracy. That's uh, I'm gonna be way more accurate now, that's for sure. <laughs> what a setup, though. At least we got this leak style setup going. Looking really weird looking, but it works. Oh, that is the PV. Nice. Oh, 50 challenge modes done, and we get a purple. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Oh, and 10 unique drops is a, also another item. Oh, what? No, this sucks. I can't really use this. No. Ah, uh, so troll, man. I, I could have used the mall. A mall would have been amazing. Actually, for a Tecton, Fossa, a Twisted Bow, you already know how strong that is. But Kodai butt plug, dude. dude, dude. Oh, purple though. Let's go. Oh, what? No way. I just got the omelet again. <laughs> no way, dude. That's hilarious. I actually got a, I actually got the pet again. So apparently, if you get two pets, that's points. <laughs> oh my god, what is it though? Oh, dragon claws. Oh, okay. Dragon claws though. Ooh, oh damn, I have to do some talk with this, you know? Like, if you get Dragon Claws, like, there's no way in hell you don't want to use Claws. Damn, that's nice. Oh my god, Claws are amazing, dude. Holy shit, Claws are amazing. Just gotta be humble. Oh, that was insane. That was actually insane. So trying to put in the claws in this setup means that I have one less space and I could gain that space back if I get a blessing in either Sammy or Bandos. Ideally Bandos, but any of them will do. And because I'm going for two blessings options instead of just one specific one, I think it's going to be worthwhile to get one of those because it shouldn't be too hard. Getting just one is scary, but any of the two makes it a lot easier statistically. I know. Oh my god. 
Oh, I got it! Oh, War Blessing, let's go! Hey! Hey, boy! Yo! For RNG. <laughs> yo, dude, yo, shout out Vera for the boat idea, bro. Right. Let's go. Oh, Damn, time that's. To grind hydra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, time to grind hydra. Oh, dude, yo, I can actually yeah, bring. You the last clue, bro, too. Bro, <laughs> I can actually do Bandos, um, the the relic with Slayer Helm, actually. I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Top, bottom, book. Yeah, yeah. You Endless. Damn, you, you got it on the last clue as well, dude. That's so lucky. I know. Nice. Holy that shit. Easy, that was a that, quick grind. Oh my god. Easy peasy, man. Oh, 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 what the fuck? 102. 102. Oh my god. Dude, this how, is what the hosta. Dude, how did it take this long to get your first 100 plus? Goodness. Oh! No! No! <laughs> I hate this game, bro. I hate this game. Oh my god. What are these hits? What are these hits, bro? Oh my god, dude. This is like so fast. I don't even know what it is. 46 seconds. Alrighty. God, that's so many tasks, man. Oh my god. 936. No lands. Please consider liking this video if you enjoyed this week's of progress and definitely subscribe so that way you don't miss out when I finally get this god dang metamorphic dust and also return to the other hardcore Iron Man group content and the next grind on the main Iron Man on the main game. So, yep, do that. Thank you very much. See you guys soon.